What's up, y'all? What's up, Diva? That's girl. What's up, Divas? What's up, Divas? What's up, everybody? So, y'all, oh my God, this is about to be a fun video. At least it's about to be a fun video for me. I hope it's fun for y'all. Girl, I was so excited to do this video today. It was really supposed to be about two videos. But I said, I'm about to do this one right here because this is super easy. Save the best for last. Like, this is like, I ain't saying save the best for last in a minute. But it's one of those wigs, like, you can definitely just throw it on and really, really go. Wild wigs, and they're just stunning, really cute, super duper. Anybody can put this on. Um, um, I don't, headpiece. Okay, that's what we're about to call it, headpiece. Now, I've seen these on the net. You know, I've seen these on social media probably like once or twice. I really can't remember who I've seen it by, but I've seen it, okay? And I was like, oh, wow, that's stupid. That's the first thing that I thought. I was like, that looks so stupid. You know, I went from stupid to, oh, okay, to like, yeah, I kind of like that. So I don't really know what you want to call this, but we're going to call it the wig grip braid headpiece, okay? The wig grip braid headpiece. So y'all seen those wigs where they already sewn to your baseball cap. If you take off the hat, then you ain't got no hair. They got those. They got these like that too. But girl, I thought that, you know, I'd rather get this one right here. Because this one you could wear with a hat and a head scarf and, you know what I'm saying, under your bonnet. Whatever you want to do. I need this to be multifunctional, baby. And this is their boho braids. So the hair is human. Okay, so there's human hair coming out of the braids right here. So this curly hair and all of that is human hair. And it's just simple. It's on one of the velvet or velvet um, wig grips, super duper easy, and it's 18 inches. And yeah, girl, we're gonna try this out. I got me some hats. I got me some head scars because we're gonna try this out and see how it look. Okay, like seriously, we about to try this. This about to be the easiest, quickest headpiece I ever did. I could just put this on in the morning and run out to take my grandkids to school. Like we're gonna paste these little baby hairs down real quick or sideburn hairs. And while I do that, I'm gonna show you how your headpiece come. But it really don't come with nothing but the bag. ladies let's start off with the edge control this is one of my all favorite go-to edge controls and i'll definitely link it below i did do a review on this some months ago you can purchase this from amazon for ten dollars you will get a travel size a big size and an edge brush now on to this amazing new little headpiece i like this a lot i'm gonna just use a bobby pin so that way i can hold down the flapping depending on your head size is how much fabric you'll have left over from the actual wig grip piece and this is one of my favorite hats which is this fedora girl look you can fake it till you make it ain't nobody gonna know that you got on a half of a braid system like girl listen this will definitely keep you cool but we're gonna move right along for something sporty and fun which is this hat here that i did purchase a while ago at the 99 cents only store it's cute, but I'm a more printed type of gal. So I figured this one, which is definitely one of my favorite cheetah prints, will suffice, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. You cannot tell me nobody's going to know. Like, serious, nobody's going to know. Now, as you know, I love good head wraps. I have a head wrap collection. Now, this one right here is probably the easiest head wrap that anyone can do, which is tie it in the front, twist it, and kind of like fold it around, wrap it around to where you have like that kind of like donut cinnamon swirl type thing on your head. Now, this looks really, really cute. And I think like head wraps are amazing, especially if you can do different looks with them. But you do need to have the right type of fabric. And this fabric is definitely good. But the one that I'm going to be doing next is one of my favorite fabrics, which is like a jersey knit material. This actually was an infinity scarf that I purchased from the 99 cent store a while ago. And it's super long once you cut it open. And all I did was tie it in the back. I'm going to bring the two flaps over and I'm going to situate it further to the one side and I'm going to loop it and then I'm going to take the other piece of the flap pull it through make a loop with that and just continue to do that until I get the look that I desire now this is more or less like a braided look and there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube that you can learn this from that's actually where I learned the same step from I have this one girl that I follow and she's amazing we're doing head wraps oh she's amazing and if I remember I'll link her down below but I love this type of fabric because it's very very versatile but it also keeps and holds the style that you're looking for 
and you can do so much more with it. I love a good fabric that has a stretch to it because it will lengthen it. But I love this headpiece. I'm not really sure what you want to call it, but it's super easy. This is something that you can just throw on and run out the door and go. Throw on one of your baseball caps or if you have somewhere to go out to dinner, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely wrap it up. You can put it on with a bonnet if you choose to, but I love it with a good head wrap. And for those casual days, a baseball cap. But head wraps are definitely my thing, and I'll link everything down below for you guys for why wigs. All right, y'all, so that's it. This is it. Like, I showed y'all some ways that you could wear one of these, like, head grip braid wig head pieces. I don't know what you want to call it, but this is actually a really fun head piece for me. Now, for one, this is my favorite way of tying my head scarf. I love this one. That's why I saved it for last because to me, like, this is kind of like the easiest for me. You know, you give it like this braided look. Um, I did do it a little bit different this time. You more or less have to have more fabric on one side. I think it looks cute with the braids. Like, you would never, ever know that I got me on a little head piece underneath, girl, okay? So you want to check out why wig? I will link them down below if you want one of these babies. I will link everything down below. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the different looks. Stay deep and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up and I'll see y'all in the next one.